What is good guys, we are back with my SPL, we have ABR from the Wolfpack versus Sidemas from the Ruinas for a semi-finals match here. Looking at the teams real quick, really cool Mega Galate squad on ABR's side. I would assume that the beginner has to be a soul fest, it helps him versus opposing setup Megina, it helps him versus Ash Greninja and Tapu Lele, or like Greninja in general, even Protein Greninja. Then the Landers has to be some sort of defensive Landers, otherwise his team is really weak to Zygarde. Katana is most likely choice scar for speed control. Yeah, Rotom, I would assume, is either Aya Papa or Leftovers. And then the Hoopa could be Bandit Specs or Z Move. So, like, pretty much the only two Z Movers that I think could be a thing on ABR side, either the Hoopa or the Landris. But Landris would have to be defensive Z Move. Um, you used that already, this um, SPL. My man, my friend Colin made a set like that. Uh, defensive Sky Shark Landed to help check Halucha. And it's kind of has a good surprise factor. And in this game, it would be actually cool to snipe the pincer if it is that. But it could also be just Yachi or Helmet Lander. We'll have to see that. And the Z move could be on Hooper. But yeah, I think one of these two is definitely going to be Z move. This is Scarf. Yeah, I already said all the sets. Looking at Sidemas' side, um, I think the Magnuson is Scarf to help trap Kartana. He's quite weak to Kartana, especially if Rocks go up and his pincer gets weakened. Then either Lando or Ladi, one of the two is probably a secondary choice Scarf user because uh, Scarf Zone is pretty slow and you want more speed control. Pharaoh's probably Spadev to check Greninja. Kinda check um, choice Tapu Lele because Magnezone alone is not that bulky. So we see a Ladi lead versus Rotom. Uh, ABR is most likely gonna switch here in the Megiana. So Sidemas could double into Landris or he could just get some chip on the Megiana. But yeah, let's talk about the rest of the team. Mega Pinter, obviously, with SD, Frustration, Earthquake, Quick Attack, I would assume. Then, either the Ladi or the Land, one of the two is going to be Scarf, and the other one is going to be Z-Move, is what I'm thinking. Tita is going to be Bandit, most likely. Spidef, Pharaoh, Scarf, Zone. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, um, ABR wants the Rotom healthy, because it can pretty much will with everything whenever it comes in late on the game, on like Tita or Magnus Zone. And I can Volt Switch around and I can potentially get the Galade in on the Ferrothorn. So there's like no point in letting the Rotom get weakened this early. And yeah, Megina is not needed for that much. So I think Megina is the perfectly fine play here. Another option would be going Hard Hooper, predicting um, Sidumas to go for a Psychic move. But I think Megina is a fine play overall. What, what would Sidumas have to hit Megina with? If it's Z-Move Ladi, it could be Z-Surf, but that wouldn't do much to Megina. So he goes for Z-Move, what is it? Shadow Psych and it does absolutely nothing. I was thinking for a second maybe it's Z Earthquake Ladi, which would be cool to see. But yeah, ABR eats that up with his Megina. He can now Volt Switch Floor Cannon or HP Fire, depending on what he wants to predict. Um, if Sidumas. Huh. Doesn't have Earthquake on his Ladi, which I don't think he has, then he's probably gonna switch out into Zone or Ferrothorn. So uh, ABR could. Either go for HP Fire, break in the Pharaoh or the Zone. Or he could go for Volt Switch if he doesn't have HP Fire. Uh, I don't I doubt that Sidemas would go hard risking his Lando. I doubt he would go hard Lando. So he does have Earthquake, what does ABR go for Floor? He does for, go for Volt Switch. So um Sidemas gets him there, good play. He does have Earthquake on Ladi. Um I mean that makes sense because that weakens Megina and brings it potentially in range from Banta. So like Earthquake on this Ladi does make sense on this team. It also uh, weakens it a bit for Pinsir. So Hooper comes out here. This could be Spec, Z-Move or Bandit. Now, Sidemas could go either Landris or Tita. I think uh, ABR's play that was definitely going Hooper, so I agree with this play, because if he goes Kartana, then he can't really lock himself into a move, because if he goes Sacred Sword expecting Pharaoh or Zone, then if Sirenus goes Lando, it's bad for him, but he also doesn't want to go for Leaf Blade, because he doesn't want to get trapped by Zone, or he doesn't want to let Pharaoh in for free, so I, g I agree with going Hooper. So we see Sidemas going hard, Tita expecting either Band or Specs, Hyperspace or Dark Pulse, works out for Sidemas. Um, this is definitely Specs damage because Tita does get a Spadef boost in the sand, so Sidemas can pursue this Hooper now, he doesn't have to fear this going for Fighting Courage, because it's locked in the Dark Pulse, we know that it's Specs from this damage. Uh, ABI predicts him to go for Pursuit and stays in to weaken the Tita a bit more, completely f um, fine play by ABR, so... Sidemas is going to be able to trap the Hooper here, we don't see a flinch. Now ABR can either go Lando or Galate here, he does go Landris. Uh, we know that Sidemas is locked into Pursuit, so he's most likely um, forced to switch. No, not most likely, he is forced to switch, guaranteed. Um, ABR could get up the rocks or he could U-turn. Um, I think getting up the rocks is a completely fine play. Sidemas defogger, like the laddie showed... Shut out Psych of Quig, right? It could be Recover Defog, it could also be Draco Defog. Or it could also be Defog on Landris. Hmm. 
But I think Zidima's play here is maybe his own Landris. I'm not quite sure. Because if he goes Ferrothorn, um, that would let the Gallade in. The Gallade is actually, it's funny to say, but Gallade looks scary to Zidima's team. Like CC hits D3. It could definitely have Ice Punch because uh, Hoopa is back and switches into will o -Wisp for Mew and deals with Mew. So this doesn't need Knock Off to deal with Mew. So it could be Ice Punch to deal with Landris and that also hits Ladi obviously. So yeah, Galate pretty much hits Zidima's entire team. Before Pinsir is Mega, then Headbutt would do a lot. Even CC would do a good amount. So he doesn't want to switch into Galate at all. So yeah, I so think maybe he's going to get up the rocks and Zidima's could go to Lando. I don't know if he wants to go pins there because he doesn't know the landers could definitely be Zemo from ABS side. Because we saw this is specs, this is AV. Um this is most likely Scarf just from looking at the team, and this has to be defensive, but it could be defensive Z move. So he has to go pincer. Now ABI is either gonna go Rotom or if he stays in, that means he's most likely defensive Z move, because otherwise I don't get why he would stay in. So yeah, he is defensive Z move. Is it Sky Strike or Rockium? It's Sky Strike. Pops the Pinsir. Yeah, that's the lure for Halucha because his team is super weak to Halucha, so I, that makes sense. Um Siduma's so losing the Pinsir sucks because like now Galite is even the bigger threat to his team. He goes Ladi, um he's either gonna drag or psychic. Uh, so he's gonna have to run the Kalk. If Psychic kills, then it's a fine play. Maybe I can still keep the Landris. Um, what does Lando do? Yeah, Lando still helps versus Tita, Magnezone. So that Magnezone can spam its electric move. So he might just want to go Megina. The other chance um, that Megina can... I think Earthquake did 35 earlier to the Megina, right? I don't remember how healthy Megina is, but it might be able to live... It's around half, so somewhere, somewhere below half. It might be able to live... Uh, it obviously lives Draco into Earthquake, it might be able to live Psyching to Earthquake even depending on rolls. But yeah, keeping this Landris seems fine. He can go Megina here and... If Sidumas goes for Draco, this works out perfect for ABA. But I assume Psychic is the play, it should be able to pick off the Lander from 49. And Psychic um, will weaken the Megina. And then um, Sidumas would have to run the Kalk if Earthquake would kill after some chip on the Megina. Yeah, I don't see another play for ABR. Either it's either Sack Land or Gomigina, and it's probably Gomigina. Because Landers can still do some work. But the score in the series is 1-0 uh, at the moment. I think for the Runas, the Sidumas team versus the Wolfpack ABR's team. So there's the Megina, there's the Psychic, there's 10%. So already the Earthquake did 35, so this is probably a roll to kill. So Sidumas can either go for Earthquake be or he could switch. But if he switches. Um, that doesn't really help him that much. Like, let's say he switches into Ferrothorn on a Flurkin. So he does go for the roll and he doesn't get it. Okay, so Flurkin picks up the Lari. Um, yeah, I kind of agree with staying in to get the roll. Maybe a roll was in his favor and he cocked it. Because if you switch Ferrothorn there, then maybe, you know, just Volt switches next turn. Glade gets a free switch in. But honestly... No matter what Sidumas does, since he lets his pincer go down... Um, to be fair, that was like... Hard to predict defensive schedule Orlando, but it did make sense. Uh, like it did cross my mind. Um, looking at ABS team, like I said earlier at preview, that he's um, credit to Sky Strike. Like he's definitely weak to not Sky Strike. He's weak to Halucha. So like if he's not Sky Strike Landris, I don't know how he would beat Halucha at all. Like he would just hope that his opponent doesn't bring it because Rodom dies to plus two high jump kick after a little bit of chip most likely. So um, he volts switches there, traps the Megina, and he goes Landris. I'm thinking this land is his choice scarf since the Lari showed Z move, so Sidimas can U turn out here. Uh, U turn into either the Pharaoh or the Magnet Zone. So, no, this is what I talked about earlier. Um, actually, did I talk about it? But yeah, this is a free will was for ABR, is what I'm trying to say. He could Volt Switch, predicting um, Sidimas to switch, but there's no point in doing that. Just in case. Uh, like, will o -Wisp gets you something out of the turn if you ABR as long as you hit, no matter what Sidimas does. So, like, you don't lose anything from clicking will o -Wisp. If the Pharaoh comes out, you burn it, which means it cannot hit the Galade hard, so you could for vault for free after into Galade. So let's go Magnezone there, expecting the Wisp slash Pump. Now, the thing is, ABI can just Volt Switch, because, like, you see the, the Rotom has leftovers. The Rotom is going to be able to take a hit from the zone, and he doesn't need to run for Pins anymore, because Pins is already dead. So, like, the best Zidimas could do is, like, weaken the Rotom with a T-Bolt, but then ABI gets a slow Volt Switch. 
uh, into either Landreth or Galate. So I think Volt Switch is definitely the play here. Thidumas is either going to T-Bolt or Volt Switch into Ferrothorn. And yeah, Volt Switch is completely fine for ABR. So we see a Volt Switch doing 36 to Rotom. Uh, yeah, this, this Rotom is most likely the defogger on ABR's team. Unless he's defog on Scarf Katana, but I would assume the Rotom is the defogger. And the Katana could then be Scarf for attacks, which means it has Smart Strike, Knock Off, Sacred Sword and Leaf Blade. So he votes out, he can go Lando hybriding a Volt, but I assume he's just gonna go Ferrothorn. Because if he goes Lando, that doesn't really gain him anything, and ABI then just gets lefties, and then gets to fire off, um... The, and it would have been like a prediction the next turn, but... Yeah, going land was a bad play, so I agree with going Pharaoh. But yeah, ABI makes the correct play of Volting. Now he gets his Galade in. Now, it's pretty obvious that Sidumas doesn't want to stay in here, so ABR could Ice Punch he predict in the Lando switch, because everything else dies to close combat, but he doesn't even have to predict, he can also just close combat and play it safe, because ABR is pretty ahead already in this game. And, like, ABR pretty much just wins with Scarf Katana soon, I think. If That's a potential win con for him. Also, his Galate kind of just wins the game if he chips down the Lando, so, like... He either went for CC or Ice Punch, there's the Landris, which, I mean, like I said, it was pretty obvious. Pharaoh doesn't want to stay in, because if he loses Pharaoh Thorn, then, um, Rotom destroys him, kinda. Like, he, he needed Pharaoh for Rotom, yeah. Um, so now ABI is gonna switch, because he doesn't want to die. Um, Sidimon should go for U-Turn, because that covers the Rotom and the Landris. Like, there's like no point in earthquaking and giving ABR a free switch into Rotom or Landris. So I think Thedomas is forced to U-turn pretty much. And yeah, ABR shouldn't stay in because this kills the Pharaoh, this kills the... This kills pretty much everything on Thedomas' side. So there's no point in staying and risking the Galate to die. So someone went for U-turn. Yep, so you went for U-turn, ABR went Landris. I kind of agree with both plays there. But at this point, um, yeah, like I don't see Thedomas winning this. Um, Magnezone could come out here, but... This doesn't even matter what Sidimus does. ABR could, um... Like, even if he breaks ABR to switch into Rotom here and goes for electric move... It doesn't really matter, I think. So let's go Rotom. Sidimus plays it safe and just flash cannons. I mean, I get why he flash can, because... But the ABR to stay in, obviously, and... T-bolting there seemed like risky, but also Sidimus is in the back, so he kind of had to make a play. So ABI will always now catches the Landris. He predicted the the Ferrothorn there, and Sidimus tried to pivot into Landris on a Volt Switch. But Willowers was a good play because it covered um, the Pharaoh. Now I think he went for Hydro Pump. Yep. Sidimus went for a last ditch Defog, but I think now he just wins. ABI just wins this with either Galate or Cartana. So Tita can come out here. If it's fast Tita, maybe it outspeeds the Rotom if ABI doesn't run much speed, so Sidumas can go for Crunch here if he's faster. But yeah, he's not faster, so he just dies to pump. And now he can probably T-Bolt with Magnezone, but that game is over. Or he goes Ferrothorn. So Ferrothorn means um ABI vaults out into I assume Galate? Lando, okay. To be, uh, to be honest, it doesn't matter what he does. The only thing he didn't want to do is going hard mag um, into Kartana because Kartana just wins the game. So he earthquakes to weaken the Ferrothorn and he's, sec he's willing to sack his Landris off. And after that, he can either click Close Combat with Galate or Sacred Sword with Kartana. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the correct play by Avia. Like, if you go hard Galate or Kartana, you risk like, getting hit by a T Wave or something. So, yeah, yeah. I think Hard Galate would have also been fine because Kartana wins anyway with Scarf Secret Sword. I'm pretty sure this Scarf, just from, like I said earlier, looking at the team. So, yeah, this confirmed Scarf there because it outspeeds the zone, and I think the zone was also Scarf. I'm gonna pause it real quick and show you guys the score. Um, I think that was well played by ABR for sure. Okay, you see here, ABR wins for the Wolfpack. It's now 1 1 between the Wolfpack and the Runes for SPL semifinals. I'll be back with more content later or the next day. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching, and yeah, I think. Like, Sidimas played a little bit safe some turns, but ABR also had better matchup. And yeah, I guess Sidimas got caught by the tech defensive Z move Lando, but honestly, it was was kind of hard to tell. Like, the thing is, like, if, if I saw ABR's team, I would have been like, if I was Sidimas, I would have been like, hey, okay, this is weird. Does he just want to, he just, he just loses to Halucha. So, like, just because of that, and since he didn't show another Z move user there, that 
Like you could have maybe scouted for Sky Strike or like. But even um, yeah, like keeping Pinsel around would have helped him. Would have helped him check the the Galate. But I still think um, dealing with Rotom would have been pretty hard for C Dumas. So I think maybe I would have won that anyways. I think he had a slightly better matchup for sure. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And peace out.